I, I thought I could type everything out and then I thought, oh, I'll just make a video and that might be easier. So I think a lot of the, what you're talking about is going to show up in political science, but what I'm going to show you, you really could look in just about any database. Um, so if you go to databases, this is a good starting point. You can go by subject, and these are lists of uh, databases under um, particular uh, disciplines. One might be history, um, but the one that I'm going to go to is political science. And then whoever the librarian is, um, they'll recommend the, the top one, the easiest one to get into. So whatever discipline you go into, the easiest one to get into should be at the top. So this one's Worldwide Political Science Abstract. Abst uh, political Science Abstracts. So you can see the search that I've already done. So I did Kashmir and East Timor. And what I'm doing here with this search is I'm looking up um, articles, dissertations, book chapters, and things like that. And I'll show you how to narrow down. Um, but it, it will include both of these terms. So when I put that and in between, um, it will catch articles that only have both of these. And I put East Timor in quotes because in this database, it only wants to find um, things when you put it in quotes where those two words are stuck together or immediately adjacent to each other. Otherwise, it might be just kind of all over the place. Although Timor, that one's, that one's going to show up a lot. When you search, one thing to worry about in this database in particular and some other ones is you get a lot of PhD dissertations. Um, and those are hard to go through, and they're not necessarily what you're looking for. Um, you're probably looking for scholarly articles. Oh, and you'll get magazines. Magazines are going to be non-scholarly things written from like a journalist, maybe from like a point of view. Um, but they will have good keywords that you can use for um, future things. So for example, here's nation building. Um, and there was a keyword that you gave me, or keywords, self-determination. And I'll go into those in just a minute. Um, so if you go down to document type, you can go to just articles. And that will weed out the dissertations, which might, might be useful, but they might get in the way sometimes too. Geographically, these are in different places, but they share a theme of um, desire for independence or struggles and, and, and political things like that. So you might have to go through each one of these um, and look at the abstract for each one. And the terms that you use for your keywords should be highlighted. But it's interesting that Kashmir doesn't show up in here. So what I was talking about, there might not be a direct comparison. Um, you might have to go, I mean, here's like a little snippet down there, but that's not a direct comparison, is it? So you're going to have to go through these articles and look for the things that you're interested in. Maybe you could set up a set of criteria so you could go into um, articles about self-determination of Kashmir and self-determination of East Timor and then start to build your own comparison. I think that might be better than looking for an article that compares them directly. Having said that, I think there are places in this search that did have a comparison between the two. This one had, there's Kashmir and East Timor, but this is about Yugoslavia. So let me show you another way of going through this database. Let's do East Timor. And on this one, I'm going to do another and, but instead of comparing directly with Kashmir, I'm going to do that, whoop, I don't want national building, I want nation building, I saw that twice. Or self-determination. And it, hopefully it'll keep me in the peer-reviewed articles, or just the articles. So it's pairing East Timor with either nation building or self-determination. And you could put other keywords in there as well.
So here's the interesting thing. So there's, there's an economic benefit of why um, an area might want to become independent. I remember South Sudan, this was an issue with that one as well. Okay, so we've selected articles already. I want to do peer reviewed, so we have scholarly articles. So we go from 431 down to 360. That's a lot. But what you can do is you could sort by date. Um, you could sort by particular interest. You could go through these and find a lot more than if you're looking for articles that compared either or, or, or compared both of them. So you could go through an East Timor pile of articles, and then you could go through a Kashmir pile of articles using those same searches. Um, and go through the abstracts and see if you can start to see similar languages going on or different ret uh, similar ideas and rhetorics and keywords and things like that. And then you might find a, a, a direct comparison. Um, another thing that I would recommend is you could try these searches in other databases. You could also go out to um, international organizations. I'm typing in United Nations. And you could see what do they have in common. So if there's like a, a huge international group like United Nations, are they having conversations where they discuss the two and show similarities and differences between the states? So there might be something going on there. So you could try that in this one. Kashmir, East Timor. So the, uh, the searches with, with quotation marks works in Google and other search as well. So let's see, let's see what's going on in the UN. These are not scholarly articles per se, so we're just looking for background info. What are the criteria that they use to compare and contrast? There's military observers. There's statements, there's galleries. Let's see, how can we narrow this down? There's a news center, there's a general assembly. Oh, here's different councils that you can look through. All sorts of different things. These are starting points. Dig around and let me know how it goes and I'm happy to help further. I think we're just at a starting point, so don't get fr um, too frustrated uh, because there's gonna be way too much information at this point. Um, and we can help narrow it down. Have a good one.